hey lovely people it's a blistery wet rainy day today and i just thought that why not make something really nice and flavorsome and very quick so as a child growing up banana fritters were always made when we had overripe bananas that nobody wanted to eat so when the bananas are fresh everyone wants to eat them once they reach this kind of a stage no one's interested so here's what you're going to need you're going to need i'm using four overripe bananas and uh, there's some lemon there's some maida or flour there's sugar this is fennel or salt you can dry roast it i've just left it i like the sweetness there's a bowl for mixing there's vegetable oil for frying and sea salt so what we're going to do is we're going to peel these we're going to break them in this and mash it then we're going to add a little bit of maida to give it a nice consistency if you feel it's too thick you can even add some cold milk to thin it out it has to be a batter like consistency but a thick batter you don't need to puree this there should be little bits of banana as well the sugar the fennel and the lemon is for the garnish when you serve and this is oil for frying and we're going to add a pinch of sea salt because this whole sweet salt thing tastes brilliant so i'm going to bring you in as i go along so here i've mashed the bananas they're still a little pulpy and coarse which is fine any black bits please discard now i'm adding in the maida or the flour i would also put in a little bit of sugar a little bit of salt say around <clears throat> teaspoon of sugar rest will be sprinkled as a garnish i don't believe i'm going to need uh, much milk but i may put a little bit of milk i'll bring you in so here i've added in a little bit of milk and a little bit of sugar and i'm going to put in a little bit of uh, this uh, uh, fennel seeds right and because we'll put a little bit on top and we'll put a little bit now so this is what it looks like so we've put in around four small bananas and we put in a little bit of so i did i did use a little bit of milk and cold milk nothing warm here and i've put in i need to add a wee bit of salt so we're going to add a little bit of salt around quarter teaspoon and i put in approximately half a teaspoon to a little more worth of these fennel seeds and around a teaspoon of sugar and a couple of tablespoons of maida and this is a consistency that you're looking at this it's a thick batter consistency now i'm going to heat up some oil and we're going to drop in spoonfuls if you've got a scoop it's better because then you'll get even sized ones i'll bring you in when i'm frying so i'm using this handy little scoop to scoop out even scoops just it doesn't really matter and put it in hot oil you don't need to deep fry this you can shallow fry it so here it's all in on medium heat till they turn golden you'll see the edges turning golden and then you're going to flip it over i've got my plate ready with a bit of kitchen towel to drain these and they will remain soft inside and you taste the batter it's sweet it's salty it's delicious and uh, they'll remain a little soft inside and you can see that they're going to come together they're not crisp fritters banana fritters are supposed to be golden on the outside and soft on the inside and we are going to put a sprinkling of lemon juice a little bit of sugar and a little bit of the fennel seeds as a garnish and they are best eaten hot so i'm going to bring you in once they are golden and i'm ready to flip so i have now flipped them and as you can see they are gorgeously golden and because of the flour that you put there's enough binding and it's not going to scatter however don't play with the food i always tell you don't play with the food while it's cooking let it set and then we can take them off and drain them it's just going to be a couple of minutes see the gorgeous color all right here you go this is the color i'm looking for i don't like the pale lemon color i like this color and now i'm removing them with a slotted spoon and they're going to drain on the kitchen towel they are done just perfectly so 
so these are the drain fried and drained banana fritters and as you can see we got lovely color on them and it's slightly crisp and crunchy but they have to be soft inside and the the contradiction of the textures is what makes it really beautiful so handle with care and then now we're going to do the garnish so i'm going to show you just take lemon squeeze a little lemon i thought i'd got all the pips obviously i've not squeeze a little lemon juice on each fritter yeah so just be liberal with the lemon i'll try to remove this here yeah. then i'm going to put a little bit of fennel just a few grains yeah. don't overdo it a little bit of fennel <coughs> those are my cats they still haven't learned to play nice so they need okay we'll get the pips out two pips yes and then finally we go in with the magic which is a little bit of sugar so just think of the flavors that are going to explode on your tongue when you put this little bite sized wonderful fritter in your mouth so you have of course the starchiness of the bananas and the flour then you have a little bit of salt peeking through and then the fennel the lemon and the sugar so there you have it this is a very old comfort food favorite i had it many times as a child also goes with the adage that don't waste a single thing something can always be made out of it so there you have it banana fritters made in a jiffy i hope you enjoyed this video stay tuned for more bye